Hey everyone, this is Exploring Fiction, and welcome back to another video. So guys, recently, the trailer for Indiana Jones 5, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, just dropped, and boy do I have some thoughts on it. And let me just say right off the bat, the way I feel about Indiana Jones 5 is the way I felt both about Kenobi and the Rings of Power. Kind of just empty. You know, because I know they're not going to get this right. With Kenobi and with Rings of Power, I was right, and they didn't get it right. They were senselessly adding modern stories and tropes and things that didn't need to be there, and they just ruined the characters that we've come to know and love and had senseless stories and inserted modern politics into them. And I have no hope for Indiana Jones 5. You know... So tying back to, kind of to Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, look, I know Kingdom of the Crystal Skull isn't a good movie. However, I can sit down and watch it enjoyably. Like, the whole nuking the fridge thing to me, it's really dumb. However, I can kind of still enjoy that scene. What gets me in that movie is Shia LaBeouf, Smut Williams, swinging with the monkeys like Tarzan. Like, that's, that that crossed the line more than the nuking the fridge for me. Although, but with all that being said, I can still sit down and watch the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. However, I don't really count it as an Indiana Jones movie, if that makes sense. For me, Indiana Jones is a trilogy, and a trilogy of near-perfect movies. And the end of The Last Crusade, when him, his father, Sala, and Marcus Brody are riding off into the sunset is the end of Indiana Jones as we see him because it leaves that feeling of the story we needed to see is over but we know Indiana Jones will still be out there going on adventures we just won't be able to witness them and so for me that is a perfect trilogy or near perfect and Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is kind of this movie I can watch but I don't really count it as an Indiana Jones movie per se and now with the Dial of Destiny, I already know they're just going to go way too far. And so I'm going to feel the same way about it as Kingdom of the Crystal Skull at best. And at worst, I'm just going to ignore it completely, which is my feeling right now. Just from watching the trailer, there's, you know, if it's a plot about time travel, that's the absolute last thing Indiana Jones needs. If the, some of the leaks are true about Indiana Jones dying at the end and being replaced by Phoebe Waller-Bridge. I mean, that's to be expected in 2022-2023 in this day and age with the what modern writers and people in Hollywood do to our beloved franchises. But you know what? I'm just kind of indifferent and disgusted by the whole thing. Those are really the two words I would use. And so I'm probably going to ignore this film altogether unless I hear from a lot of people that I know and respect in regard to movie taste that it's worth seeing. And one more thing I want to uh, touch on quickly as far as Indiana Jones 5 is, you know, I don't know if I'm the only one, but a lot of these modern trailers are really rubbing me the wrong way. The whole way too much CGI and artificial lighting and turning every theme song we know and love into this like sad piano ballad. I don't know, it's just really annoying and it's becoming a, a cliche of modern Hollywood and just another, I don't know, part of the process that I can't really stand. So yeah, I'm pretty much indifferent to Indiana Jones 5, The Dial of Destiny. I mean, we'll see what more trailers bring, but I'm pretty much going to ignore it. So, so that's all for me today. Leave a comment if you have anything to say about this subject. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. I would love to have you. And like always, I will see you next time.